Shalom and welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Pastor Matt McEwen. This week our Torah portion is Nitzavim. And there are two words that I would love to share with you right now. These two Hebrew words are important to our Torah portion today. And I think we have a wonderful bridge that we can make between this Torah portion and the writings of Rav Shaul, the Apostle Paul, in the Brit Hadashah or New Testament. Let's look at these two words right now. The words are Yekarim. Yekarim, these are the important people. And then we have a group of people known as the Kefuyim. And these are the unimportant people. Now, why do I mention important and unimportant people? Well, let me tell you a little story about Rabbi Yehoshua ben Levi and about being upside down. Rabbi Yehoshua ben Levi said, There are people that are in this world important and in the world to come unimportant. And people who are in this world unimportant that are in the world to come important. Now, this is related to us by an incident that happened involving Rav Yosef, the son of Rabbi Yehoshua ben Levi, who became ill and unfortunately he was about to die. When he returned to good health, his father said to him, What did you see when you were about to die? What did you see? He said to him, I saw an inverted world, an upside down world. Those above, i.e. those who are considered important in this world, were below insignificant. And while those below, those who are insignificant in this world, were above in the world to come. He said to him, My son, you have seen a clear world. The world you have seen is the true world, as in that world people's standings benefit them. Rabbi Yehoshua ben Levi asked, And where are we, the Torah scholars there? Rav Yosef responded, Just as we are regarded here, so we are regarded there. Now, this is very interesting. The idea of being important and unimportant in this world and the next. Now this ties together with something about being important and unimportant that is brought down as a commentary on this Torah portion by Rabbi Schneer Zalman of Liadi. And he says this, and I think you're going to smile when I begin to quote this because you're going to recognize a similarity to something that you know very well. Like the various organs and limbs of a body, each of which complements, serves, and fulfills all the others, so to the Jewish people, the simple wood hewer or water carrier contributes something to each and every one of his fellow Jews, including the most exalted, or the head. Now you already know where I'm about to go. In 1 Corinthians 12, this is what Rav Shaul says to us. For the body is not one part, but many. If the foot says, since I'm not a hand, I'm not part of the body, is it therefore not part of the body? And if the ear says, since I'm not an eye, I'm not part of the body, is it for this reason any less part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But now God has placed the parts, each one of them, in the body just as he desired. If they were all one part, where would the body be? But now there are many parts, yet one body. We need to be very careful how we assess ourselves in this realm, on this world. All of us have something to do here. All of us are important to the mitzvot that God wants us to do here. This, after all, is the realm where we are able to do things. It's why we're given this body. In order to do mitzvot, we learn from our sages and from our rabbis in the yeshiva that mitzvot are done at the level of nefesh. We've got to have a physical body in order to do physical good deeds in this physical world. But all of us, just like we do things with our bodies in this world, and I have a hand and I have a foot and an ear and an eye and a nose and all of that, we too also have different roles and some 
may be more visible roles. Some may be more behind the scenes or covered up. But each of these roles are no less unimportant or important, any more important than any of the others. All the parts need one another, just as we all need each other as one body. Let us not forget that Rabbi Shapira has taught us about this wonderful concept in Judaism called Arevut, concept of being an Arev or a guarantor for our fellow man. Every member of the House of Israel is accountable to everyone else. This is something so important for us to remember. You see, in this world's economy, or in this world's standings, you may not be very important. But that doesn't matter. Because what our Messiah Yeshua told us to do anyway is to be the servant of everyone. If you want to be great in the next world, then be not great. Be humble in this world. If you want to be great in this world, well, you already have your reward. You will be least in the kingdom to come. So let's think about this. God's ways are not only higher than our ways, they're sometimes just the complete opposite. If you want to be great, you must be humble. Things seem a bit upside down. If you'd like to study in the yeshiva where I have studied, then you can go to shuvu.tv and fill out an application there to join Yeshiva Shuvu, the largest Messianic Jewish yeshiva in the world. Thank you for joining me today. Shabbat Shalom.